Hey everybody, Van Jr. back again for Lost and Found Metal Detecting. And today we're going to be working on building a little nightlight option for the Garrett AT Pro. So, as most of you know, at least the uh, people that own the AT Pro, there is no backlight on the uh, Garrett AT Pro at all. So, what I've decided to do is I want to try to mount a little light that will come over the top here. So that that way in low light I can actually see my VDI, the depth, and uh, what exactly it is. And so with that I decided to fabricate a bracket that will mount around the casing on the AT Pro. Uh, mostly because I didn't want to glue anything exactly to this because should I ever decide to sell the metal detector or upgrade to a different one, uh, I want to be able to take off whatever it is that I put on it and sell it in nice condition as it is. So I really didn't want to glue anything onto the front. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use the existing screws that are mounted on the back here. Now if you're right-handed I would suggest using this side and if you're left-handed I would suggest using this side. These two screws on either side. So with that being said I cut out Oh, I actually have a few of them here that I'm going to be using and the reason for that is I'm going to give one of these away when I'm done. But I have the brackets cut out here already and what I used was a 16 gauge steel, cold rolled steel. And the nice thing about that thin, it's, it's a 1 16th thin metal, is that it bends easy so it'll be easily to shape and at the same time too uh, you can cut it fairly easy with a, a bandsaw or even a small uh, saw with a metal cutting blade and you can cut this out in your garage. Uh, I use mine at, at work and that to cut it out. So, But it's real easy to cut, it bends easy, and it's a pretty simple design. As you can see, right behind here is my original drawing for this bracket and the reason I have it all drawn out here is at the end of this video I will put this uh, drawing up in a still shot so anybody who wants to make this bracket will have all the dimensions and sizes that they can cut one out of their own and you can see it is to scale exact size as the drawing is with all the dimensions so at the end of the video we will give you that picture so you can Use those dimensions if you decide to fabricate one yourself. Coming back, uh, let me just give you a shot of some of the other stuff I have here that I'm going to be working with. Now the light that I'm using is a work choice light that I bought in at Walmart. This package here is, they're like two for just under five bucks. And we'll give you a shot here, that's what they are. Work Choice Mini LED Work Lights. And they're very bright. Very bright. And they also have a magnetic back. And if you look right over here, I already have one of them bent up. It's not painted yet. But I do have one bent up. And the magnetic back sticks real well. So that you can just take it on or put it on and take it off as you want. So with that being said, I'm going to take the first bracket, it's all cut out, the holes are drilled, these are 160,000 or a number 20 drill that is spaced an inch and a half apart on centers. So with that, I am going to take a brief second here and I'm going to show you how I bent these. Stay tuned. As you can see, I've mounted the first bracket now using the two screws on the back side of the AT Pro, which they're just a Phillips head screw, and it hangs out this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shaping this, bending this to come around to the front side of the machine. Give me one second. As you can see, the 16 gauge steel is real easy to bend. All I did was simply wrapped it around and pushed it until I got this shape. Bending it right here to follow the actual detector. 
Now what I did was I put a mark here about maybe an inch past it or so because I don't want it to be tight on the front side of the detector. And the reason for that is I don't want this light to hang right over the top of my machine itself. I want it to be able to be far enough back that you're not looking at the light blocking your VDI from the top. So what I did was I put a mark out here about an inch past the front of the machine. Now I'm going to remove the bracket back off again and I will bend this bend right here. Okay, so you can see that what I've done is I've made my bend here on the inside corner. So that's going to actually fit around the machine like this. Now you can see that it's got that one inch gap out here on the front side. I'll tip that back a little bit just so you can see. And the reason for that is the light is away from the front here. Now I need to make one more bend. I want to put a slight bend right here on this angle so that that way it tips the actual mounting surface for the light back at just a little bit of an angle. Now you can see that I've put that slight angle bend in there so that way the magnetic light will then mount right there like that. Now with the light turned on you can see that it gives off a good glow of the whole entire area. This stuff is real easy to bend and that makes it real easy to shape how you want to. Now the only thing left to do is to take this back off and we're going to take the bracket off and I have a Rust-Oleum textured, just a, a flat black uh, paint, spray paint, that I'm going to paint these up with. Now should I have a problem with the magnet no longer holding to the metal on the back here, I do have some Gorilla Glue and a Velcro strip that I will apply to the back of that tiny little pad into the back of the light so that that way if I find that it will not hold once the the paint is on it that the velcro will keep it in place so stay tuned I'm gonna take these out to the garage and paint them up all right everybody and now that the paint has had ample amount of time to dry we're ready to install one of these on the uh, AT Pro as you can see the light itself uh, even with the painted surface, the magnet seems to hold really well. So I don't think I'm even going to bother with the Velcro and the Gorilla Glue. Uh, if I find after time that the magnet's starting to wear out or something like that, then maybe I'll attach Velcro in the back. But I'm getting in a shake test, and that light doesn't seem to move at all. I mean, the magnet's fairly strong. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is and just use the magnet for the time being. So... Now we're ready to install it on the AT Pro. And there it is installed. You can see that textured black paint blends pretty well with the AT Pro's body itself. And there's what it looks like there. And now we'll give you a shot with the uh, semi-darkened room here. You can see I've got the light turned on. And we have pretty clear, I don't know how well my camera shows it up, but, but it is definitely a bright light. That's going to help immensely in the uh, somewhat dark off light or even at night lighting. And now we can continue with the uh, giveaway for the year. So this is our winter giveaway. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, what we're giving away today is we have a Garrett treasure uh, detector bag this is a, a metal detector bag we have the Garrett treasure sound headphones with the quarter inch plug so those won't fit an AT Pro but they will fit the uh, ace 150 250 in that we have a 1925 
Buffalo nickel, a 1943 S war nickel, a piece of raw float copper, and then these two are copper artifacts from the ancient copper culture. Thousands of years old, this would have been a scraper blade, and this would have been a conical point. And along with that, I am giving away one of the Garrett AT Pro night lights that you just saw in the instructional video. If by chance you don't have an AT Pro and you're not interested in the night light, please let me know and I will give that away to somebody who does have an AT Pro for their use. I hope you enjoyed the uh, instructional video. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, just one last shot here. We'll give you one more shot of the night light. There it is. And rules on the, uh, the giveaway. You must be a subscriber in order to enter this giveaway. And please comment in the section below on my YouTube page that you would like to win the prizes. And uh, at the end of two weeks from the upload date, I will use all the names that are in the list that have commented and they're subscribed to my channel. And I will put them into random.org and we'll draw one lucky winner for all of these prizes. So thanks everybody for watching and being a part of my channel. I really do appreciate all the likes, comments, and the feedback. Uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much.